practice for our Avatamsaka lecture. I'm going to ring the bell three times and invite you to join me. And then Kevin is going to request Dharma. Huan Yin Gowei Sanjia, Wong Hua Yin Jing Jiang Zuo, Wo Chao Yin Jing Sanjia, Ran Ho Wong Ching Kevin Lai Ching Pa. Let's see now. There we go. Okay, Kevin, if you'd like to request Dharma, please go ahead. Gong Ching Da De Seng Ting Wei Zi Fa Hui Ji Yi Jie Zhong Shen Will the Sangha with great virtue, out of compassion, for the sake of this assembly, and all living beings, please turn the wonderful Dharma will to teach us how to leave suffering and attain bliss and end birth and death and quickly realize non birth. Namo tasa bhagavato arahato sama sambudasa. Namo tasa bhagavato arahato samma sambhutasa. Homage to the blessed noble and perfectly enlightened one. Homage to the blessed noble and perfectly enlightened one. Namo sadanto sucero ye olahuri sammyao sambhuto she. Namo sadanto sucero ye olahuri sammyao sambhuto she. Wu Shang Shen Shen Wei Miao Fa Bai Chen Wan Jie Nan Zao Yu Wo Jin Jian Wan Zhou Shu Yan Jie Ru Lai Zhen Shi Di Supreme and Wondrous Dharma Subtle and Profound Rarely is encountered even in billions of eons But now, but now we see and hear it and accept it reverently. May we truly understand Buddha's actual meaning. All right, Kevin, thank you for the Dharma request. Appreciate that. We will now proceed to invite the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas of the Avatamsaka Assembly to draw near. And I hope they like banjo music. I think they can see sincerity or no sincerity. That's probably more important than music. Here we go. Um 
Alrighty. Moving forward, we would like to respectfully acknowledge the Kumbu Meri people of the Ugambi language region here as the traditional storytellers and custodians of the land where our monastery is located. We pay respects to their elders, past, present, and emerging, and to all First Nations people whose sovereignty was never ceded. The bell sound wide resounds throughout a hundred million worlds. The Buddha's law is heard and spread all throughout the triple world. The wondrous sounds that everywhere fill the Dharma realm with peace. May those who hear it gain the strength to follow in faith the Buddha's path. Chung Chung Chuan San Chen Jian Ei Fo Fa Yang Wan Yi Guo Zhong Gong Xuan Qi Fa Jie He Ping Li Bao Tan O Hou De. Okay. Now let me tell you uh, what's going on today. We got something a little different. The um, we have been creating a film about the life of Master Shenhua for years now, and it's planned to have three episodes, three parts, and parts one and two are already to watch today at this time. The uh, episode one is being shown on Zoom and on YouTube. Direct collision with our lecture here. So, uh, we bu zheng, bu zheng, bu tan, bu qiu. So, in order to bu zheng, uh, we would like to, if you all can check um, the chat box in your Zoom account, there's a link to the YouTube broadcast. And if you jump over <laughs> to watch the movie, I totally get it. Not a problem. Um, it just so happened that this was because of the 10,000 Buddha's repentance taking place. Uh, there was not a lot of time to show it. So they uh, picked this uh, Saturday night and it does collide with our lecture, but this is a very special, <clears throat> special event. And your link is in the chat box. Go to the chat box now, click on the link, and you can see the video, see the movie, get a preview. Uh, so um, now, there are folks who really follow the pilgrimage of Sudana, of Shansai Tongzi. And they don't want to miss any of this incredible pilgrimage, this story. So what we're going to do, I'm going to lecture a little shorter tonight in length, and also just kind of uh, review a bit and point to uh, the, uh, the first teacher, the second teacher, Manjushri was the first. The second teacher is De Yun, De Yun, Bichou, 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 uh, Cloud of Virtue, Bichou, Cloud of Virtue. He's the one who, uh, Sudana, f takes Manjushri's instructions and goes to ask, to, to seek the Dharma. So, big deal. Okay, everybody clear on that? So we're going to stop a little earlier than usual tonight. And so that folks can pick up where they, uh, next week, if they, we don't want people to, to miss the uh, entire pilgrimage, the, the, in, the encounter with Do Yun Bicho. 
So um, that's what we're going to do. Plus, if anybody would like to abandon lecture, abandon ship, <laughs> and jump over to the lecture, please go ahead. Don't don't worry about that. The film is great. Yeah, it's definitely worth seeing. Okay, 大家清楚吗 Okay, so uh, if anybody uh, abandons the lecture and goes over to the movie, I encourage that.、Uh, don't hesitate. Okay.、Uh, now, meanwhile, where are we? Well, last week, Manjushri. Sent Sudana away. He sent him away, and the、uh, I want to point out here. Look at this section, the last section for last week. 二是善财童子，温氏羽翼，欢喜踊跃，头顶离祖，绕无数匝，殷勤瞻仰。悲泣流泪，此退难行。Okay. After hearing these words, the youth Sudana leapt for joy, bowed at his feet, circled him countless times, and gazed up at him with longing admiration. He wept sorrowfully, bade him farewell, took his leave, and went south. All right. Now, people who tell you that the Avatamsaka Sutra is Buddhist philosophy, how do you explain this? Look at the emotion. Look at the human feeling here. What does it mean to leap for joy? Huan Xi Yong Yao, Huan Xi Yong Yue. Wow, that's pretty.、Uh, <laughs> that's not neutral. That's not、uh, whatever. No, leaping for joy means your emotion. You can't contain it. It just moves your body. Then what does he do? He does. Uh, what Buddhists do? These are called ritual gestures, ritual gestures that are part of Buddhist、um, etiquette, limau, right? So, what do you do? You bowed. He bows at the feet of Manjushri. He circles him. Wu Liang Zha, right? Puts his palms together, circles around, circumambulate, and then he looks at him. He doesn't want to leave. This is his first teacher, who's. I mean, Manjushri Bodhisattva is awesome, and that Sudana receives his instructions from him. It really matters to him. He, it, those words are in his heart, and so what does he do? He cries. He <laughs> wept sorrowfully, said goodbye, took his leave, and went south. Now people will tell you,、um, south. South is spring, summer, fall, winter, spring. South is new beginnings. It's、um, fresh. Things are blooming, coming up out of the ground. And Sudana, we're going to see him over and over again. Sudana, Shanti Tongzi. Is、um, he's a model student? Xue Shang Mo Fan, yeah.、Uh, he is、uh, the word that that is suitable for for Sudana is docile, D O C I L E, docile. Docile here from docire in Latin, which means able to be taught. He is able to be taught, and. That may be one of the reasons why, when we、uh, see his picture, he is portrayed as this little kid, this little boy. He's three feet tall, and he's got his palms together. I think that's, of course, it's not accurate, but according to the Avatamsaka, Sudana is a strapping young man. He's twenty years old, but the symbolically. The、um, the image of Sudana is there to indicate how much he is willing to absorb the lessons he gets and then put them into practice. Dussel, 
Dochire. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's interesting. Um, the word education or to educate, educare in Latin means to lead out, to lead somebody. And look at Sudhana. He is, um, <clears throat> you remember the, the, the uh, turning point came when Sudhana said, I've heard about the virtues of the Buddha and I want to do it. I want to ride in that Mahayana vehicle. Please let your compassion fall on me and teach me so I can be a Buddha. That was the Putishin and what the uh, scholars of the Avatamsaka call the ten faiths, the ten stages of faith, shi xin, wei, shi xin wei. So that's uh, uh, what, we've, what we've seen. And that's what Manjushri was waiting to see. And when he saw it, he said, okay, you go. I'll send you to your first, your next teacher, De Yun Bicho. Now, um, who has been, <coughs> has anybody been hiking recently? Mountain climbing on foot, not with ropes and pitons. You know that you need gear. You need sleeping bag. You need good boots. You need a compass. You need water. You need uh, probably a good utility knife. Uh, you need some food. And all of the gear that you amass, put it in a, you need a stove, right? You put it in a backpack and you carry it on your back into the natural world. Sudhana is on a pilgrimage. He's on the road. He has to pack his bag and travel because the comforts of home are no longer available to him. He is out there seeking the Dharma. And now we don't, we don't really get a strong, the, the sutra doesn't um, emphasize this part of it, but it's really clear that his road is not easy, that the sutra doesn't give us details of, you know, suffering and all, but they do, it does talk about how long, how long he was walking, and in between, from one teacher to the next, seeking the Dharma. So here is our young man on the road. Yeah. Okay, let's go to Do Yun Bi Chou Sheng Le Guo Miao Feng Shan Xiang Sheng Le Guo Deng Miao Feng Shan Yu Qi Shan Shang Dong Xi Nan Bei Si Wei Shang Xia Wan Cha Qi You Mi Ke Yang Yu Jian Do Yun Bi Chou Jing Yu Qi Yi Jian Bi Bi Chou he traveled toward the kingdom of supreme bliss and climbed a wonderful summit mountain, gazing out to the east, west, south, north, and four intermediate directions, above and below. He sought his teacher as a thirsty person seeks water, longing to see the bhikshu cloud of virtue. After seven days, he caught sight of the bhikshu on a distant mountain, taking a leisurely stroll. Uh, okay. So, he climbed a mountain, got to the top, looked out, north, south, east, west, above and below, looking single-mindedly for his next teacher. And he doesn't know, doesn't know where he's going to find him. It's just here on this mountain. How big is a mountain? Well, <laughs> seven days of searching. And then after seven days, ah, there he is, far away. Shi Bu Jingxing. Okay, Jingxing here, I don't think is leisurely strolling. I think that is uh, practicing walking meditation. Shi Bu is gentle steps, just kind of 
keeping them moving, not to get anywhere. But the Jingxing part is to say he is he's walking in meditation. In uh, Japan, it is called Kinhin in the Zen world, Kinhin. And it's very uh, useful um, method of practice because often um, the the room in the um, in the zendo is few and far between. You're crammed in there with lots of meditators, and so the king, the kinhin, the jingxing, is done. You move your foot just half the length of the foot. And then the next step, half the length of the foot with your arms like this. And it's very slow. But that's the way you can do it when the, the Buddha hall, when the Zendo, the Chan hall, is crammed with people. You can do that without kicking people, without stepping on them. And everybody can maintain mindfulness. That's the idea, is... It's the same mind as the sitting mind. Okay, so there he is, Xu Bu Jingxing, taking a, a stroll, walking in meditation. Okay, now, <clears throat> I want everybody to pay attention to this because this is the first time Sudhana says what he is going to say 50 to 53 times on his pilgrimage. To every teacher, this is his dharma request, qing fa. Okay, so we know this is important. Here we go. Jian yi wang yi ding li qi zu yo rao san za yu qian er zhu zuo ru shi yan sheng zhe Wo yi shen fa ano do lo sa miao san pu ti xin Er wei zhi pu sa yun he xue pu sa heng Yun he xiu pu sa heng Nai zhi ying he he yu pu xian heng qi de yan man Wo wen sheng zhe shan neng you hui Wei yuan qiu ci wei wo xuan shuo Yun he pu sa er de cheng jiu ano do lo sa miao san pu ti xin Okay. Thereupon he bowed at his feet, circled him three times to the right, stood before him and said, Venerable sage, I've already brought forth the resolve for Anuttara Samyak Sambodhi, but I don't know yet how a bodhisattva learns bodhisattva practices or how he cultivates bodhisattva practices, up to and including how he can swiftly master the practices of Samantabhadra. I heard the sage is skilled at guiding and teaching people. I do hope you will compassionately explain how a bodhisattva accomplishes Anuttara Samyak Sambodhi. There it is. That's his request. And this is the, uh, the engine that motivates all of the encounters from now on. This request, Qingfa. And it's specific. He says... Uh, sometimes it's not exactly the same. Sometimes it's Ruha Shu Pusa Hung, Ruha Xing Pusa Dao. Sometimes he says that. How do we cultivate bodhisattva practices? How do we walk the bodhisattva path? Sometimes he says. Um, he does not always say uh, Samantabhadra's request, the practices of Samantabhadra. That's here because he's just been instructed by Manjushri. And he's being truthful. He's being faithful to his instructions. Okay? So, he says, I'm a student. I don't know how to, how to do this. Uh, but you do. Um, I've heard that you are good at guiding and teaching people. And I really hope you will compassionately explain how a bodhisattva accomplishes Anuttara Samyak Sambodhi. Okay, so Putishin is foremost, and uh, this is the repeat of what uh, Manjushri told him to ask 
and uh, he's doing it. Okay. All right. Now, with uh, the idea being we want everybody following this series to uh, have a chance to to catch up with all the teachers. Um, and because there is a film being shown right now, the links are here in the chat box. Go find them. We're going to stop here and continue next week and look forward to everybody. Uh, it'd be nice to hear people's reactions to the film because that was... Um, it's been many years in the making, and uh, we want uh, people to get to know uh, Shrin Vashanran's virtue and his bows. Okay, how that? Now, I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to put this away. And bring this up. Please make a wish. Okay, that's going to do it for us for tonight. See you all next week. Amit Bofo. Bye, everybody.